Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the South Pacific and I am in the French territory of Wallace and Futuna. Now you may have heard of the French territories of uh, French Polynesia and New Caledonia where there's a third one, Wallace and Futuna, which is by far the most remote and the least known of the French territories here in the Pacific. I'm in the island of Futuna, the smaller island of the group of islands of Wallace and Futuna. And in this particular documentary, we're going to go on a tour of the magnificent and spectacular churches of Futuna. Now, Futuna is an island of about 50 square kilometers in size, and it only has three and a half thousand people. Almost 100% of them are Christian Catholic. There are 21 villages and each village has its own church, a Catholic church, of course. So what I have been doing for the last few days, I have been driving and walking around this magnificent, spectacular island and I have been videotaping the Catholic churches. And here's a review for you of the Catholic churches of the remote island of Futuna in the South Pacific. Now don't forget to watch my channel for a full review of the island of Futuna where we get a chance to see the nature and also the major sites around this beautiful island. In this particular documentary, we'll concentrate only on the churches. This is Vic. Enjoy. Bye-bye. And uh, here you see outside views of this magnificent basilica, the Basilica of St. Pierre Chanel or Petelo Sanele. This beautiful basilica is located in the village of Poi, P-O-I, the only large village you will see on the eastern coast of the island of Futuna. It sits well over 500 people and it's a huge celebration it takes place here every year on April 28th, the Saints Feast Day, the day that the memory of the Saint gets celebrated here in Futuna and thousands of people come here and sleep around this basilica overnight. Now let's go inside and get views of this magnificent place. Come on. I am now inside this magnificent basilica. Here's the beautiful ceiling, wooden ceiling carved with local Polynesian designs. Now it is a very large basilica. I can sit over 500 people that's remarkable given that the whole population of Futuna is only three and a half thousand people. Let's walk towards the altar. You will see the fresh flowers placed around the altar on a daily basis. Actually I can smell the flowers over here. Let's go up on the altar for a second. And in the back right there you will see Jesus crucified. Jesus on the cross wearing a local lava lava garment. This is the local garment that the men wear here. Almost everywhere, including you must wear a lava lava when you go to church here in Futuna. I did last Sunday. I had to borrow one. And here's the very last view of the altar. Jesus and the Basilica. And uh, here is the magnificent Catholic Church of Sao Sao, built here in the capital of Futuna, the town of Leava, in 1993. One of the largest churches here in Futuna. I can sit over 500 people and it is a magnificent place to come to during Mass on Sunday mornings. 
Now, at the end of this uh, documentary concerning the churches of Futuna, you're going to see very rare video footage, videotaped a couple of days ago during the confirmation mass on Sunday morning. Here's another view of this magnificent church. And uh, here is a view of this magnificent church from the other side. You can see the three towers right there. Here's the residence of the priest. And here's the fale, where kava drinking takes place on Saturday nights. Now let's go back inside the church and see what it looks like inside. And this particular video clip was videotaped on a Saturday night when the church was open and all the lights were on. Let's go inside. Okay, I'm now inside the beautiful church of Sao Sao, S-A-U-S-A-U. That's the entrance right there. And it is absolutely huge. It can sit over 500 people. It is Saturday night. And I will be here tomorrow morning for mass. And I may be able to videotape some of the events taking place tomorrow. But let's walk around this magnificent church. The churches are open on Saturday nights here in Futuna. You can see it is built in the shape of a Latin cross. Here is the left side of the cross and the right side. Here is a general view. Towards the entrance, here is the wooden ceiling. Let's go towards the altar. The flowers are very, very important in this culture. It is not unusual to see men and women walking around with a flower wreath around their necks. And they also, also yesterday when I flew to Futuna, there were a couple of men sitting next to me and they were wearing flower wreaths during the flight. But you can see the flowers, these are fresh flowers, by the way. And you can smell them. And here's the altar. And this is where the priests will sit tomorrow. Beautifully lit. Here's another beautiful view. Now this church was built in 1993. There used to be another church here, but it got destroyed during a, an earthquake. Here's a view of the beautiful flowers. Very tropical. And I must admit, one of the things that distinguishes the Pacific the South Pacific, especially Tonga, Samoa, Wallace and Futuna, and Fiji, is the presence of flowers almost everywhere that you go. Now, despite the huge loss of population here in Futuna of 10% between 2008 and 2013, and that's out of three and a half thousand people, over 10%, mostly young people, decided to leave this beautiful island forever. Most of them have migrated to New Caledonia. Now, despite this huge loss of population, the building of new churches continues here in Futuna. And here's dramatic footage of an unfinished Catholic church right at the northeastern tip of this beautiful island.